the schools that I've been to in uh, Southern California across the three years that I've been here, and it's not a complete list. I keep thinking of schools that I left off. Um, um, I wouldn't have gotten to any of these schools if I didn't have my calling card of visiting Chinese. Um, the schools have been wonderful. So what do they see? Uh, well, there's a room that looks pretty much like the Shanghai Experimental School, except no windows. I never would have noticed that, except that um, everybody from China asks that first. How can you have a classroom without any light? And, you know, it's in California. I guess it's to keep the heat out. Uh, sometimes it's because they're temporary buildings that have become permanent. Um, but you'll see that the, the students, this is not unusual, are clustered. There's all sorts of stuff on the walls, uh, mainly because the teacher's there all the time. The teacher doesn't have any time to do anything because the teacher teaches all day, but they do decorate the room. They usually do it with their own funds, and it's usually uh, closely related to the lesson. I don't believe that exists in China. So before we get them out into the schools, of course, we have seminars at Cal State Fullerton. We have professors, we have uh, uh, cultural trips. Uh, just for example, this is a typical Cal State Fullerton uh, classroom. And there are five professors up in front uh, for the uh, panel discussion at the end of a visit by a group of elementary school teachers from Beijing. Uh, this is the Cal State Fullerton Reading Lab. Um, we assume that we're jarring them with our very active uh, techniques for teaching and learning. But actually, every Chinese teacher, principal, even some of the deans get into this stuff pretty quickly uh, when we the do it. The most important thing, though, that, that has happened during the visits that I've conducted uh, for K-12 <laughs> educators from China has been this sort of thing. These are student teachers from Shanghai Normal University meeting with student teachers from Cal State Fullerton. We give them lunch. And we make brief introductions. We, then we do a kind of speed dating, where they move around the room uh, meeting a different uh, teacher. We've done this a few times. And each time, the students from student teachers from China tell me how excited they were and how incredibly interesting this was. But even more impressively, the student teachers from Cal State Fullerton, uh, just a few weeks ago, a group of them said, wow, Professor Harrington, I let him say that. <laughs> wow, this was the best thing all year. This was incredible. This was fantastic. And of course, that's the point of all these things, right, is to get the, the educators together to talk.